Hey, it's uh, Ben Kuzma from Province Sports. Uh, welcome back to the Rink Rat Report. We had a week off uh, on the road with the Canucks. We're at UBC today where the Canucks were preparing uh, for Wednesday night's game in Edmonton. A couple of interesting developments with the Canucks uh, as they prepare for this game. Uh, Lyndon Vey is not playing. Bull Horvat is. And I think we're at an interesting point in the season here in judging these two players. Uh, Lyndon Vey was, uh, quite frankly, uh, getting a great opportunity uh, on the first power play unit uh, when they would go with four forwards, uh, basically operating as a fourth line center. He stayed in the lineup because of that ability to, to show some offensive uh, thrust uh, playing with the Twins and, and Verbata uh, on the power play. Three of his four goals coming uh, with the man advantage. But uh, he's really struggled in the circle, a 39% guy. And the Canucks power play, two for 22 in the last eight games, has slipped down to 17th in the league. Uh, it was in the top 10 before. It's come to a point now where the Canucks realize uh, they better take a harder look at what they're doing with the man advantage. And getting back to maybe a more traditional uh, look with their first power play unit, the Twins out there today with Verbata. They've had Edler and uh, Yannick Weber on the points. So we'll see how that plays out tomorrow. Uh, whether that will come to fruition or not. But as far as Ve is concerned, uh, I think it's an interesting uh, situation here. The Canucks have to realize what they're doing with a player who, when he came here this year, basically had only 18 games at the NHL level uh, with the LA Kings, uh, five assists in those games. We know he played well uh, in the American League last year, uh, but here he's kind of a work in progress. Uh, you think of a player with that kind of an offensive um, upside would project as a third-line center, but Brad Richardson is doing such a good job in that regard. The Canucks are in a situation now where they've got Lyndon Vey and Bo Horvat kind of like your fourth line centers and what do they do with them? And in terms of Horvat, we know he's played five games already. Tomorrow night in Edmonton, well that's number six. Uh, there's that nine game window before uh, when you play your tenth game and uh, the first year of your entry level contract kicks in. Uh, what I like about Bo Horvat, it doesn't have a point, but it's his play away from the puck. He's 53% in the circle. He's doing everything that the Canucks want him to do away from the puck. Problem is, uh, there's no offense from that. Uh, how that weighs on a, a player, I'm not sure. He's a 30-goal guy in the Ontario Hockey League, but coming to this level, he's spoken about a lot of times, you have to tailor your game to do what you can do. Uh, where does he project down the future? I'm not sure. Is he a third-line center? Does he skate well enough? But I think the, the key thing here right now is what do they do with Bo Horvat going forward? As I mentioned, it's game six tomorrow in Edmonton. They could space the games out during the road trip. They could get into that window of early December where when the World Juniors are held and Bo goes with Team Canada and stretch this thing out into January before he actually plays his 10th game. Or if that's not an ice, enough ice time and they think he's better off uh, going back to London uh, because he's not eligible go, to go to the American Hockey League, he could go there and play 20 minutes a game and maybe get some of his offensive game back. But I have to stand by what I've said all along. I don't think Bo Horvat has anything to learn by going back to junior. He may not play as many games as he'd be like, liking to be played right now, but he's learning the game at the pro level. He's learning every day on the ice, off the ice, what it takes to be a consummate pro, and I think Bo should stay here, regardless of the game total. If they wanted to get to 10 games and burn the first year of their contract, so be it. I, I think he's got nothing left to learn by going back to junior. So anyway, that's uh, your Rink Rack report for this week. Ben Kuzma reporting uh, from UBC.